Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install Microsoft SQL Server in 2024. Basically, I have made a lot of series uh, related to SQL Server and how it works, all of the stuff that is few years back. And people always complain that the links are not working the way I showed how to install the SQL Server during that time does not applicable right now. So this is like uh, latest video for uh, same content how you can install the SQL Server in 2024. Without further delay, let's begin. What are the things you need to consider is like there is no 2024 SQL Server version. So only SQL Server 2022 that is Microsoft has released uh, the latest version on 2022 and still now that is I'm recording on May 2022 till now it is the same version. Maybe some patches might be applied that will be automatically taken care of once you download. Then for those who are practicing or not using it for not production version or not commercial versions, they can still use the developer version where it is completely free for all the functionalities of the enterprise edition. So you can use it as a developer edition which is completely free for you and you need to have a SQL Server Management Studio to uh, connect to the server. So if you are not sure what is SQL Server SQL Management Studio, I think you are uh, not, not the right person to view this uh, video because you need to know the fundamentals. You can watch the uh, SQL Server Fundamental playlist, then you can come back to this. So with this note, this channel contains a free content. Utilize this free content that covers Power BI, MS BI, and fundamentals of SQL as well as Azure. If you like this uh, channel, hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries. Let's begin our core content today. Go to google.com and start typing SQL Server Developer Edition 2022 free download. In this, click on the first link that is from the Microsoft and it will be tempted like SQL Server on-premise. Basically, if you are practicing for long, I would suggest you will go for on-premise version. There are other versions you can go for like uh, SQL Server on Azure. SQL Server at the edge that is in your local IoT devices. But for our practices or while you are learning, I always prefer to go for on-premise version. And as I said before, it should be on the developer uh, edition where it's a full featured free edition license for development and test database in a non-production environment. You can go for this. So just click on the developer edition. There is no questions as no nothing, no um, what you call uh, the details required as the developer edition is a free edition, you are free to use. The, you will get uh, just a set of file here, then click on it. Then it will ask for um, next steps. So basic installation type to install SQL Server database engine future with default configuration. Select Customize custom installation type to set up through SQL Server installation wizard. Choose what you want to install. I would like to go for the custom one because I can show you what are the things you can uh, able to see uh, what are the options it's going to available for you. I just slightly want to rename this file to SQL uh, 2022 to SQL Server 2022. I already had some other files I don't want to mess up with the existing one is skill server 2022 then I click on install so it will take uh, some time let's see how it goes basically right now it's downloading the skill server developer edition after that it downloads then only it will install it was around um, hundred and um, I mean one one seven six that seven zero MB which is around uh, one GB I think right let's wait for some more minutes now 
and now it's checking some prerequisite or extracting the setup files so next uh, screens will pop up so that we will begin our installation there you go so um, this is the planning sheet and what are the things what we have um, like uh, what is this hardware and software requirements and security documentation all the documentation part then there comes the installation new SQL server standalone installation and add features to the existing installation so this is what we need let's go for this So this is for the SQL Server 2022. We are installing on the 2024. There is no SQL Server 2024 yet because uh, Microsoft released um, SQL Server 2022. That is um, itself um, enough for whatever the complexity it is handled, right? There is no new version in the latest years. So update offers the security, other important updates. If you want, you can check it otherwise you can ignore this then click on next so windows firewall it's a warning um, but I, in your local systems i don't think you need to set up any firewalls right now i'm not so expert in that as well so let's skip this one then here perform a new installation add new features to the existing installation that is existing a future uh, for me but i don't want to do uh, with the existing one there is a lot of uh, issues in that that's why i want to go for it the new instance so perform a new installation instance name is sql server i can rename it at the next screen so if you see here specify uh, free edition that is developer edition let me check i should rename it i'm not able to do it so let's see edition i'm not sure i can't be able to do that let's try with uh, go for developer edition right you can have a different editions here then click on next accept the agreement it says like um, what versions you are using right um azure extension for sql server if you do not want then you can ignore it what this option says is like to install azure extension for sql server provides the azure account as service principle to authenticate sql server instances to azure so basically it's like um, azure extension for sql server so you, from azure you can able to connect or i'm um, um, that is what uh, i think so you also need provide a subscription idea all those things for this right now you can ignore it because we are not going for azure for this um, installation now this is why i choose a custom installation i want to show you what are the different options it's available for you so that you can choose basically database engine service is the one you need uh, what it says is like it is the core rdbms database management system that's going to be installed that is what the database engine is and based on the different um, uh, requirements like if you need a replication or data quality service machine learning services those things if you want to enable you can enable for simplicity i'm not enabling anything we are not going to use much over here and there is the analysis service as well so sql server also comes with sql server analysis service once you choose it will uh, prompt you for whether you need um, ssas or ssis i mean ssas tabler or mdx version in the next screen i don't want this one as well this video focusing only on sql server database so i'm skipping all these features right now then that's it so there is another feature called master data services master data management those things also you can choose it so i gone through this step to make you to understand what are the different options available for you along with the database installation 
for simplicity we will choose only database engine service that's it let's go for next so here you can uh, provide your name of the instance let's name it as um, nux laptop nux system nux sql server right that will be a named instance otherwise your default instance is this and you can rename but i want to give a different name nux let's provide a small number i mean uh, lower case is nux sql server that's it then click on next so in in the future selections uh, if you have chosen analysis service there will be another uh, step over here and right now it is skipping it so leave this one as such right and click on next what kind of uh, authentication you need you need windows authentication or mixed mode uh, mixed mode is like both windows you can choose and then again mm, you can choose the um, mixed mode sql server authentication so this is the default account is SA. you can enter your password i will provide a simple password here and you can add any uh, other users you have you can add them add them as administrators okay uh, add current user as the administrator you need one administrator at least so this is the uh, user and this will act as a administrator okay password doesn't match that's it um, you have configured and this is the page you can uh, review and just press install this will take a while and once it is installed let's come back and check now you can see once the installation is complete it came to the last step it is a completed step and it will show the status what are the things it has installed like database engine sql browser and sql right these are the three items or features we have right now installed it's time for us to um, launch the um, sql server actually we need to connect and start creating it let's try to close this one and um, before we connect i i i suppose you should have uh, installed the sql server management studio i have already installed the sql server management studio uh, if you are not having a sql server management studio then give me a minute you can use this launch installer right the planning and installation you can click on this management studio this will install the sql server management studio for you i have already installed the sql server management studio so once you installed you can connect to your system so if you don't know your uh, system i mean server click on dot or you can click on pros for more then click on expand you can see this is the server name newly installed this is the previous one and this is the new one i installed forget about the previous one i am facing some issues that's why i installed it right now we need to use the new one the nax sql server click on this and i have already have authentication certificate chain authority was issued i'm not sure uh, maybe trust this certificate you can press trust server certificate then click on connect 
I, I'm not sure what is that option, but usually if that error occurs, I usually press that. Uh, let me uh, search and uh, give update on the upcoming videos. But right now you can able to connect and you can play around with that. You can create a database, you can create, once you create a database, you can create a tables and uh, views whatever objects you want inside the database. That's it. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and comment below for queries. And do remember that data is your asset.